morning. We are off on a new adventure. We have decided to start a new program uh, at K9 Corral. And what we are doing is we are headed to the Sherman Animal Shelter in Sherman, Texas. It is a kill facility. Um, they are at capacity right now. So what we intend to do is go and adopt one or two dogs. Um, and then we will begin their training program. Um, our goal is to get these dogs trained on their basics, uh, obedience, potty training, socialization, everything that we cover in our program. We're wanting to go rescue a couple dogs, get them trained, and then work on finding them an appropriate home, preferably with somebody that is either on a very limited in income, but is ready to have a great dog or we're wanting to work a lot towards working with our veterans, um, with people with special needs, whether it's uh, PTSD, um, anxiety issues, things like that. Somebody that needs just kind of like an emotional support dog, just a companion, but we're already gonna get the basics taken care of, so when they do adopt the dog from us, it will be ready to just go on and, and help somebody with their life as well. Um, we are doing this new program, wanting it to be somewhat on a donation basis, just so that we can continue. Take the exit onto North Farm 2 Market 1417 Extension. We're almost there. Um, we're wanting to be able to continue this program. Uh, we know that the dogs are going to need vetted. They'll be spayed and neutered before they leave us. Um, their vaccination's current. And like I said, their training complete, make sure their nutrition is perfectly up to speed, things like that. So if anybody feels they would like to just kind of help towards this new venture, we would appreciate it just to cover some of the expenses and to allow that new person. Um, it's very possible that they might need some supplies and things <clears throat> when that new dog joins their family, whether it be a crate or some beds or just anything like that. Where our goal is to just get as many dogs out of the kill shelter as we can and then place them in appropriate homes that will hopefully be their forever stay. We'll keep you posted.
रहे हैं the girls all settled in we did bring home the two little females uh, got getting them scheduled for their spays um, their updates on all their vaccinations everything like that that we're gonna need to be able to place them safely in their new homes um, we're really excited about this new program that we're gonna offer again I want to stress that our our goal in this is to help somebody that really could use a support companion, um, somebody that has a little bit of, you know, perhaps PTSD, separation, you know, some issues going on with them, um, that could just use a good companion to be by their side that is already kind of, you know, working towards being trained and being social and being able to take them for walks in the park and things like that, go for car rides, really, really hoping to fill that void for that special person that could use that companion. We would also like to invite you and encourage you to reach out to us through our, through our website and through email if you have somebody in mind that could benefit from a dog like this. Um, we're kind of leaving it wide open. Uh, we don't have anybody in mind right now at all of who we're going to be placing these two girls with. Our goal is once one or both of those girls are spoken for, we will then go pull two more dogs out of a kill shelter and start the process over again to get um, get more dogs out of the kill shelters, but also get some training in on these dogs that, that hopefully their next home 
will be their forever home. So if you have somebody that you really think would benefit from a dog like this, please reach out to us and we can start to build a list of what people are really looking for, size, um, males, females, anything like that. So we'll keep you posted. We're going to be doing pictures and videos at least weekly and lots of updates on Facebook and our website. Thank you.